Hey guys, what's good? What's good? What's good? Um, my webcam's acting funny, so um, I gotta probably get another one. So um, yeah. Um, so it's not working the way I wanted to. So I'm not right now. I'm doing them on um, doing them on the laptop. So I'm using my digital camera, but um. Um, I lo somebody sent me a topic, basically. That's just retarded. I'm sorry. I'm looking at something on the computer. Um, it's about a mother that drives her car with her baby on top of the car. It's weird. What is wrong with people these days? But um, enough about that. I'll get in. That'd be a long discussion. I don't even need to get into. But somebody sent me a topic. And the topic is, um, hold on. Alright, I'm back. So the topic is, um, someone's in a relation, no relationship, no sex, what to do. Um, okay, basically, the person's in a relationship, um, but it's not having sex, you know, like, they've been together for a minute, and then and they're not having any sex, so, the person was wondering what to do, you know, because they, they're tired of not having sex with their partner, and... They've been together for a long time, but there's love over, is, do you have, basically, I don't even know how to word it, I guess saying that, do you have enough, that's, if, if there's enough love to love someone enough, regardless if they're not sleeping with you, like sharing their, their physical body with them, and, um, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, because I, my mind's going like everywhere right now. I'm it's going here and there and there and there. So I'm trying to put it in a way that I don't sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. But um if you love someone, I mean I understand that. If you're in a relationship you kinda some people like to have that have their partner share their temple with them, you know, because that shows, it not only shows how much you love them, but you, you are into them sexually, you know, some people get insecure when they, people don't have sex with them, you know, um, some, couple, a lot of couples, I mean, if you like, oh, you ain't sleeping with me, you gotta be sleeping with somebody else, so who you sleeping with, I know you with somebody else, I'm, you know, start to do that, and then my thing is, when you start doing that, then it's hard, it causes a lot of strain in a relationship, because when both of you are looking at each other, you think this person's gonna cheat because you're not sleeping with them, and then they're thinking mentally that they, physically aspect, that they want to share their body with somebody who's gonna love them, and it's hard for a person, if you are a sexual person, to be with someone that does not like to have sex, because they they like sharing their temple with someone. They like having that sexual attraction, you know, that you have that, that you just be into each other, in tune, making love to that person. So when you don't have that and you're in love with somebody, it kind of is hard. It is very hard. I mean, I was with my ex for like three years and out of the three years we had sex the first year the second year it stopped and like i don't know what happened but two years later we was not doing nothing we wouldn't have sex we wouldn't i was looking at her like a piece of me but it, it wouldn't go help i mean i could look at somebody all day long like a piece of me but if they're not going to want to sleep with me, they're not going to want to sleep with me. And the type of person that I am, I like to share my temple with somebody I'm in love with. You know, I, I like having that sexual attraction to my mate. Um, but I don't have to have it all the time. 
but just once in a blue moon would be nice, you know, like, it ain't gotta be every single day, every night, like that, uh, I don't need it like that, every month, we gotta be bumping monkeys, no, <laughs> you know, like, we horny and everything, did that the first year, but, I think you just need to take your time with the relationship, um, and if you really care for this person, then you respect their needs, and if, you know, maybe later on, we'll do some therapy, both of you go to counseling, maybe she'll loosen up, or that person will loosen up, and open themselves, open their, themselves to you physically, than just mentally being attracted to you, and doesn't physically share themselves with you, um, I think it's something deeper, maybe something happened to that person, you know, that caused them to be like that, or there are some people like that, or there's some things, like some lesbian women don't like going down on women because they don't like mushy stuff, or like the fluids, I guess, the fluids of a woman throws them off, and they're just like, ooh, I don't want to do that, that's disgusting, but they still love women, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, they just won't go down on women, but, um, I don't know. I say just take your time with it. And if it doesn't work right and they work out that, you know, you can't handle that you know, not having sex, then you might need to have a conversation, a bigger conversation. Do y'all want to continue this relationship? So that way you seek somebody that wants the same thing that you want, you know. It's nothing against her or nothing against you. It's just that both are on two different levels when it comes to affection and attraction. Um, not just on the mental aspect, but on the physical aspect. Because um, I think it's deeper when you get physically with somebody. Sex should be with someone that you really, really, and deeply, and hopelessly in love with, and you could see yourself marrying them. Then just having a one night stand, some of y'all do, and um, not putting your heart into it. You just put your feelings and lust into it. And um, love should be more than. I mean, sex should be more than that. It should be some love in it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I think. Um, I mean, y'all tell me y'all views on it. Um, this video is, like I said, relationships, no sex, uh, should no relationship, um, what to do. Alright? This is your man, Kamari. I'm out. Peace.